on the road again. Da 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 road again. Ah, feeling the wind in my hair. And seeing as Link doesn't turn with the cart, it's hilarious. Yo, peeps, what up, showing us here. We are back in with another part of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we left off, we pretty much did not progress in the story. We just did side stuff. Side stuff. And we're back again with this. Don't worry about losing that kind of stuff. We're actually getting a lot of material soon, anyway. We learn about Zone Eye devices more. We learn about pods. So we're talking to a ghost right now. Hey, Roro. The time bell, the sound from the temple of time, rings at set time each morning and evening. That's the thing I've been hearing. You know, I wish you explained this sooner so I didn't seem like I was crazy the last several videos. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. We were heard in the evening. We knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was his place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stood have fond memories of me. By the way, before we leave, I'll probably battle that thing. But for now, let's see here. Oh god, I'm in the Korok. For now, let's talk to this guy. Device dispenser operation is confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I really met my target. You are welcome to use it. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and Zonai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain the Zonai capsules too? We've already heard about the Zonai capsules, so I think we're good on that one, but... Either way. Oh, by the way, if you're ever wondering like what they said in the past, there is, a, in fact, a dialogue log. Which is nice. There's no harm in converting yours. Their resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you will always have a few. Oh, I have lost track of time. It seems I even missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now. The dispenser remains available to be used. In other words, he's now going to sleep in his little receptacle over there. And I pointed out in the last video, that's our recharge area where they just fall asleep and such. And sometimes you'll see them and sometimes you'll see the decayed versions of them, like I'm walking over here right now. But anyway, as you explained, if you go into your materials section and say grab a bunch of these, you can use them to recharge your battery, but or overcharge your battery, which I'll show at some point. So I'll hold say about five of them, put them in here. Then we get converted and it's a gotcha machine. There is no set things you get. You get certain items regardless. Like for instance, flame emitter shoots fire. So it's basically a fire torch thing. Portable pot. Ooh, that's nice. Cooking food almost any time, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. Easier to use on flat surfaces. And I think, I think, if we look at this, there we go. Yeah, it shows you what it has. So if you're like wondering what you can get from this, you can get emitters, fans, and portable pots. I now have five of those and four fans and four emitters, which is not bad. I think this is a good haul for this stuff. Especially since I don't need the fans that much, at least I don't think. So, getting back to another thing at hand, there's this idiot over here. How do you reach my friend? Oh, my friend and I got separated. And where's it, buddy? Over there, huh? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. 
I'm tired though, I can't move. Why are you guys like toads? I swear. So another thing we can do right now is walking this over this way. Carefully rotate this. Drop. It snaps into place, thank you, so I don't worry about that. Taking this more on. Nah, buddy. In case of emergencies, your core can be used as an airbag. I think since he's technically attached, you can feel that. Uh, so. Don't even think about sending his back. I'm not losing anything. Also, yeah, it is 7 a.m. now, so... Hey, yeah. my friend, here's something for you. It's always with these Koroks, I swear. Yeah. I made it, thanks to you. Eh. Whatever. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Because we have to make it up there. So we had to come this way anyway. So before we head up that way, there, I think, is some items over here. Oh, here's a chest. Oh, Zonite. Thank you. I can use more of those. I mean, it's like he always has to break the pots. Eventually, this thing's gonna break. I already know it. Probably around this time. So, our next path is over here. And you might be thinking to yourself, okay, just put the thing on there, do the same thing as last time. Except the track's broken. So the real catch is this. Let's see here if we get this right. this shape and it's like I'm already using this material anyway that's why I'm doing this so you want to hook it onto the railing over here and if done right you can simply just jump climb in and using one of your more useless weapons hit the whole thing and away we go I really do love the building in this game. Like I said, if I can, I want to keep this thing. There are, of course, a couple of rusted uh, constructs here. More charges, more money, more things we can exchange for later. There are a lot of Zonite parts and everything in this game. That is not a joke. And when the guy comes in June or well, July, I'm actually going to buy it myself. As I did with the last game. And there's a portable pot. Nice. It's basically telling you to cook right here, but I don't need to cook right now. I'm good. 
Also, I think I know it's a slow factor, but it never said to use fire to start or anything with that, so it's already started automatically, I think. Oh, there's really no point in getting up here, apparently. Well, hopefully this works. So this fight is to be a pain in the ass. I think. I have an idea what I can do, but at the same time, I don't know what I should do with this. But I, I'm going to do some theories with this. I knew it. If you can grab a thing, you can break it off. Bolt away. That is a true weakness. It is able to be grabbed. your point it'll come off there we go now the brides about this you do get charges you get capsules but the more important thing you get is this it is material that's purposely done refusing <laughs> unfortunately for me though Unfortunately for me, though, this thing is now very weak because that sword is very much damaged. I didn't have anything else to use it with, though. Anyway, that's nice, a nice little battle for a quick side note. And watch as I fall off a cliff. I'm joking, but who knows? 
There we go. All right. Back to the adventure. I'm seriously just going to put like a PNG of stuff while I'm there every time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Cold, 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 cold. So before we head that way, there's something we can get. If you're in Brave It, go ahead and go and do it. But I recommend finding this cave. Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. Meals that warm them. Warm sounding meal names, such as greens, will suffice. There's spicy peppers in here. Only one cooking effect can apply per meal. Spicy pepper. So you want yourself a bunch of spicy peppers. That's entirely what we're here for. There are a lot of spicy peppers inside here, and there's also a couple of hidden items you can find here. So a certain frog somewhere, I think, in here. I missed! Almost had it. Grab the gem. The reason I'm trying to shoot the rabbit is not uh, cruelty, is because Thank you. Is because bloopies, that's what they're called, bloopies, if you hit them with an arrow, it'll scare them a bit and they'll actually drop material or they'll drop money. So, anyway, back to this case in hand. Back to the adventure. So thankfully I have plenty of meat as well as fish. We're going to this. I believe we get one fish, one meat, and a pepper. And cook them. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Three minutes, 50, 30 seconds. From what I'm also seeing, two peppers, an apple, and a mush, I think. Six minutes. Spicy simmered fruit. So we'll be good for a while. The three minute one don't last that long, but the six minute one should at least last a while. 
Ooh, let's make some more food. I'll meet you guys at the top of that cave where I think Alexa is right in the middle of the snow. Jump cut. The moment we step out of this cave is when we're going to be affected by the cold. Bam. So we want to do, because Link is now in the freezings, go to your food. Let's say the one that's this much and eat. For three minutes and 30 seconds, we are now resistant to cold. I missed. Do not get close to that thing. It will freeze you to death. White chew jelly. So before we go anywhere, by the way, one of the minor effects of the snow is that your shoes and everything will be affected like this. Oh man, I have a couple things to explore and reach up for him too, or just show, I guess. Probably not good because I only have so many. Seven o'clock. Only so long. Now that I know what it is, I'm not going crazy in my mind. Did that actually work? No, it... Okay, well... I don't have a fan with me, unfortunately. Alright, on our map... I'll put a leaf for Korok. That's obviously a Korok thing. Thank you your cold resistance is still up there so you can see it. What well, I'm trying to point out is this. Ah, I almost had it. So that's how that works. <laughs> Okay, that was a waste, but that's hilarious. I know you could do that. <laughs> so instead of using magnesium, now you just drag them over. There's Raru. Hey Raru, I know you're a ghost, but do you have anything warm? I can't last that long and it's cold. R R Raru is freezing. Hmm. The soldier constructs and the captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the garden, garden of time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. They're not much of a threat, they're just more of an annoyance. What is any chew jelly that are annoying? Or they're like that. Speaking of which. Oh, he's already dead. That is hilarious. It's a one shot on these guys. Crab <laughs> Club. There, that's hilarious. A 
Oh crap, I think I think we're out and he knows. That's better. Oh he also went with just like, hey, you're slowly dying. I'll take all that material, thank you. A flame emitter club. I'm not going to setting myself on fire, thanks. He has two weapons like that, that's just stupid. So we have to get up there, that's where I think is. I'll call the video and everything once I get up to the, the shrine and such. Hello. These are now a thing. Which is convenient and unfortunate because we have, if I recall from the videos I've seen as well as the stream, a new enemy here. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, we have a new enemy over here. You won't see it soon. Or you will see it soon, I mean. Let's just happily break certain things. I'm saying happily because you'll see soon why. Oh. To the free chest. All of you aware of surroundings, there might be enemies nearby. Chest precariously perched over here. With amber, of course. If you heard that with your headset, you may have heard some weird little gloopy, stretchy sound. Which is an indication of our new enemy. Not so much new, but classic enemy. Now, what I recommend, first off, getting one of these. And doing this. This is something we have seen before. This is a like like. Like likes will swallow you and eat your shields. In this game, I don't know if they'll do that, but it will be not unlike them. <laughs> I think you're supposed to get close enough and then do that. <laughs> I am panicking right now because these things creep the ever-living hell out of me. Also, my thing broke, which is hilarious. All right, they'll start triggering my you. Then you shoot the eye. 
Once health goes down, it'll be dead. But yeah. Lifelike stone, a strange round stone from a lifelike -like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. And we also get a chest. You could of course avoid it if it creeps the living hell out of you, but still. We're gonna have to face these things every so often. It is a thing of nightmares, and I love it that they made it. Not only did it return, but also the fact that it is a nightmare machine. We haven't seen like likes in a while. Alright, so where we go? Up here? Yeah. We have mint and 13 left on the cold resistance, so we gotta get up to that temple quick. Or that thing real quick. There's another one. Of course there's another one. Come on. Show yourself. Be careful so I don't scream in the morning. I have the spear so I don't get that close. Come on. Come on. Open wide, you beautiful bastard. Sorry, my voice is like offside at times. I'm trying to be talking from the mic, but. Is that thank goodness. A rusty halberd. Nice. Kick. Nope, just tap. Nice. Another opal? Yep. That'd be sure. And a flame emitter. Nice. We have less than ten seconds. Unfortunately, as soon as I yep, step out of here. Well, if I try not to use this damn thing, but I guess I have to. But I'm slowing the draw of this kind of crap. Well, we'll be free from the cold for a while, at least. Don't be too close when they explode, by the way. That will freeze you, and at this low health, kill you. We are genuinely almost there. It's like right above our heads. I'm taking a longer path around because one, efficiency, and two, I see more of these guys. It means you get more white chew jelly, which means... Oh, hey, chicken. Raw bird drumstick. Nice. Sweet, more spicy peppers. Something up there. But I can't tell what. Oh, that's what. And we can't really get up there anyway, because here's the thing about these slippery slope or slippery ice looking platforms. I see vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Love vertical surfaces vertical surfaces become slick when wet. So how do we get up there? How else we make our way? I'm pretty sure there might be an actual way up there. But probably not, because we're gonna we have these things here now. Thank <laughs> you. 
And it's now the new hour. This is the more awkward shape I've the most awkward shape I've done so far since. It might not be very stable, unfortunately. I'm not sure why it's hatched you, but I guess that works. I'm actually, I have no idea what I'm attaching to right now. I think it might be the peppers. It is a pepper. That's hilarious. But hey, out up here at least. Let's go over the stupid temple right now. I really I do not have the time. Well, in the real sense and in this sense, it is quarter till five. <laughs> Gutenbach Shrine. We made it. I don't see any more shrines. So here we go. This made a long recording, I think, for this one, but it is because there's so much stuff that has happened in this video. Six go. Ah, oh, so you made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. <laughs> That's it. Give me paw. I'm definitely going to figure out how these videos are going to go. I mean, if Tom, we can basically cut through. A four hour stream into a one hour recording. Well, I'm sure you like me or cut down these videos. Ascend, move upward through solid materials and emerge on top of it. Mind you, we have three more things we can get as well from this mm. arm. This is the ascend ability. If you, it'll let you travel through what directly above you. you ascend through it and emerge on top of it. Yeah, tired. To find quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. You ascend and receive the blessing of the shrine. So ascend is, ac ascend is actually a nice ability. As you can see here, we have no way of getting up there. The surfaces are not climbable. So. Not what I meant to do, but I guess I'll grab the hammer for now. So. We ascend. And before you leave, Link will just be like, okay, should I get out of here? Hitting A will jump out of the little portal hole you made. Now you think to yourself, well, how am I going to do this? It doesn't matter how long the surface is, as long as you're physically able to get through it. Ascend will tell you if you are. The green light means you are able to go through it. What do you want, buddy? Let's try. I'll take your soul. And your bow. Your soul. So I think if I use it here, yep, where we go, and we get a chest. 
I think this is the chest in the shrine. Contract bow. Yep. And checking the map. Nope, we still have one more. Got the threads. Platform falls. And we just go right through it. That weird little cutscene you just saw there is what happens if the thing is a little bit too murky to go through. It's actually a very much useful ability. The issue here is that we're still missing a chest somewhere. I think we're missing a chest, aren't we? Yeah, we're still missing a chest. I think we won't take fall damage from that. Where is this missing chest? What did I miss? Hmm. Alright, that one right there. Oh. So it wasn't entirely useless. Alright, I'll meet you back at the end. There we go. That shouldn't be long, I'm not gonna jump cut that. That's all she wrote. I probably should have checked, but oh well. I'm gonna skip that one. This is the same thing I've done. The light of blessing, a crystal glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies it with its radiance. And we are out of here. And we are about out of this recording time, too. <sighs> As he restored some power to the new arm of yours, mm. the door of the Temple of Time should now open to you. Now, while we have about a minute left, I'm going to go over here, go to here, and get on to this tree over here. Got a charge. Got a new, new item. Dry Amber. Archaic Warm Griefs. Thank you. So now we don't have to worry about the cold. That is nice. Oh, thank goodness. I guess it makes sense. We have the warm pants before. Now we have these. So this is what I was talking about as well, by the way.
My maintenance duties are complete for today. It's been another cycle with no visitors. Oh, this is a rarity. It's unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zonai devices to ascend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Browsing ascend a mountain. Wing type Zonai devices are useful tools making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are portable forms of Zonai devices if you have any time. Right, because I don't think we can actually teleport yet, can we? At least I don't think. Yeah, we got them all. Yeah, we can't warp yet. So we can't fast travel. I was thinking of fast traveling to the temple, but we can't do that yet. So anyway. Come inside there. And let's see what we get. Oh, we got wings. Harness lift to ride the wind. Farther, try balancing on the center. Of, try balancing on the center of the wing. And check out our map. There is one more we don't have yet in this. definite storage, so we don't have to worry about them being overly used. <laughs> it says safe material, too. dropping it for some reason. It doesn't want to drop it. Oh, it did. I'm in it. It was a flame emitter. I'm not sure why they didn't show. Oh. Well, we have flame material now. So what I was talking about before is this. You can literally just grab this. And if you let go, it'll flow, free flow down. But the better way is to use this launch pad here. I think Raro will explain that as well. Hmm. Our devices are a pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. Master's use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. So when we continue on there tonight, I believe we'll be able to get off this island finally. And then during the weekend, we'll have a lot of things to do. Until next time, this is Show Me the Exit, and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to call the part here because this is a long video to edit. If you guys are enjoying things, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Also, I highly recommend getting those pants from that tree stump over there. That was definitely helpful. Yeah, until later. Until then. Later. <laughs>